But for those who have suffered loss, Mothering Sunday can be a difficult day. Pam Rhodes has been to Liverpool to meet one Christian woman who set up a service for those who can't face going to church on Mother's Day. Lizzie Larry runs this busy Liverpool cafe as part of a church outreach project. Hello, are you Lizzie? Yes, I oh, am. I'm very pleased nice to meet you. It smells so lovely. Yeah, yeah we've been nice baking. Smell. But the special service she ran last Mothering Sunday here in Liverpool's Anglican Cathedral had an impact way beyond her community. It was a really special service, so it was called the Mother's Day Runaway Service. And the service was for anybody who finds Mothering Sunday difficult for whatever reason, people who lost their mothers, also those who have struggled to have children or have lost children as well. So it was to acknowledge that this day was difficult. This is obviously very close to your heart. Why? I always kind of believed that my life would, would kind of move effortlessly from one stage to the next, that I'd meet someone, fall in love, get married and have children. And I met someone, I fell in love, I got married, but I still don't have children. For me, my experience of childlessness has been through miscarriage, and um, I've had six miscarriages. Um, and I always wanted to be a mother, and that hasn't happened. What about your feelings towards God? Did, did it shake even your belief? It, it completely changed my faith. Um, I think prayer is something that, in particular, that is really difficult to navigate or, or wrestle with when um, you pray for something and it doesn't happen. Then you just think, what's the point? Why pray? when we've experienced so much loss. But the thing about the Christian faith that rebuilt my faith in God was the principle of redemption that is kind of woven throughout scripture that acknowledges pain, but also demonstrates that, that God can bring good from it. Is the church sensitive enough to, to how you and others like you feel? I think in church we've lost that language, of fun, that vulnerable language of, of grief and vulnerability and lament. And so if, you, if you're struggling, you can feel very out of place in church when actually it should be the best place to be. Do you think the news of last year's service has hit a raw nerve? Yeah, it's been incredible, the response. We've had so many emails from people requesting the service packs and the people that came to the service. It was as though we'd all shared something together. Thanks to Lizzie sharing her story, many churches are hosting similar services this Mothering Sunday.
was Blessed Be Your Name, a song that praises God in times of celebration and of suffering. And our next is a hymn for this season of Lent, which reminds us of Jesus' own trials and of his presence with us always. Bringing up a brand new human being is a daunting responsibility, so it's great to know there's help and support available. Catherine Hill is the UK director of the Christian charity Care for the Family. What would you say is the best advice for parents? Well, do you know, Catherine, I'm a mum of four, and I remember that first day, um, first day we had our son just looking at this little bundle and feeling completely overwhelmed. And at Care for the Family, when we go around the country, we say when it comes to their own children, there are no experts. Uh, not the people who write the books, not the people who speak on television. <laughs> Parents really need to have confidence. No one knows their child like them. No one loves their child like them. So there's... Uh, no one way to be a perfect parent, but there are hundreds of ways to be a great parent. Good advice. And when we think about the Christian faith, we think very much of God as the Father, but is that all that there is? It's a wonderful image of God as our Father, but there's so much in the Bible about God as a mother, as a mother to her children. And it says, you know, would a mother forget the child that she's born? But even if she did forget, then God says, I will not forget you. It's that tenderness, that compassion, the sort of heart of God. There's a lovely story of a farmer walking through his farmyard after there's been a terrible fire. And he comes across um, a hen that has been burnt. It's just the, the charred remains of this bird. And as he kicks it, there's a bit of a scurry and these little chicks come out from oh. underneath. And the hen has protected them from the fire. And it just reminds me of that beautiful verse where Jesus looks over Jerusalem and he says, how would I long to gather my children just like a hen that gathers her chicks under her wings? And it's just that lovely, tender heart of God. I love that. I've never heard that story before. I think that actually if we look at that mother heart, um, this isn't just about those who have natural children, but there is an incredible role that many, many women can play coming alongside families and just giving that little bit of wisdom uh, and giving them support and encouragement. It's really, really powerful.